What's up, guys? Bitcoin's pulling back. Let's take a look at the market overall. Um, Bitcoin's pulling back. Like I said, it's going to get to the 34. It's going to get rejected. Is it going to push through after a day or so? It might, but probably not. And here's the probably not happening as we see it. Um, so we're pulling back to this support right here. So we can delete this. You know, and I'm not here to try and be right. I mean, even though when you're right, it's you can't really can't help but you know make some some chatter about it. But you know, it's cool. It's cool seeing it. So let's see if we hold this 13. You know, it'd be cool to see Bitcoin hold a 13 and get these moving averages curved going towards the resistance. Um, but you know, I can't get bullish until I see that happen. I can't get start to get bullish until we break the 34. Now, the good news about this is as the 34 is coming down, as the price is going down, the 34 is coming down. So now instead of the 34 being up here where it needed to be, it's down here. So we can break this, if we break this swing high right here, if we, whenever we do, as the price takes a dip, if we break this swing high right here, we'll be above the 34. So, and if we're above the 34, that means the 13 is coming up. If the 13 is coming up, that means we're about to get a bullish cross. But we still have a good ways to go, especially being that the um, price is dropping. Um, let's see what the rest of the markets are doing. Cardano back under 13. AVAX testing support. This is not, this is, this doesn't look too bad right here. Um, so what I'm seeing for AVAX is if Bitcoin holds up to this 13, if it holds this 13 and starts to make a move up, AVAX is going to be way ahead of the game. It's already, you know, broken above. It broke above the 13 back here, broke above the 34 back here. It's the second time breaking above back here. So it's going to take one more move and this is going to be a bullish cross. It's going to be a good looking one too. So AVAX looks, so far it looks the strongest barring, you know, any Bitcoin hard falls. And it's just, just as of this video, you know, I haven't looked at any other charts. So don't take that with a grain, take that with a grain of salt for sure. BNB, you know, Bitcoin Cash, I don't really see anything there, but we got it, we got it on there. You know, BNB looks okay, but it's got some resistance. It's still got a fight. Um, cake, nothing to see there. Cake looks like Cardano. Um, So if Cake looked like looks like Cardano, and, I, and if I think Cardano has and I think Cake has more downside than Cardano probably has more downside too. Um, but I mean, everything's gonna fall. If 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 one thing's fall, if Bitcoin's falling, everything's gonna fall. It's just how much is are some things gonna fall more than others. Like Doge is down three percent today because Bitcoin's down three percent. AVAX is down four percent, but it's not even looking that bad. Yeah, so that's this is why I didn't draw that res that support line back here because it's like it's pretty much already it's like guaranteed to break that. Um, so yeah, Doge looks like it's it wants to roll over. Um, dot and that's got a bullish cross, but it doesn't look too strong. Yeah, I just think we're just I think we're still too soon, man. I think it's still too soon to get excited about cryptos. Um, ETH. ETH doesn't look bad. So when I look at ETH and I look at Bitcoin, I see the potential to roll over again. But if it does roll over again, it's probably not going to go too much further. Um, I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that, though. I could, you know, I could be completely wrong about that. So that's just maybe that's my wishful thinking. If we're going down to 13K, like I predicted don't want to say predicted i don't know if i want to say predicted um then it's gonna be rough but i'm gonna have to buy i have to get up pull my trousers up and buy but i'm not really too hype on the buying right now hex down 2.5 percent it's not looking too bad compared i mean it's down the same amount well not really it's down less it's down less than pretty much Except for ETH BTC. Hex is outperforming everything on the way down. Except for Litecoin. That's funny. 
link. Yeah, we're getting some of these things. I think have a lot more downside. Link being one of them. Anything that went up a ton has a lot of downside left, except for X. <laughs> Lisk. Let's see. Lisk does. I mean, I'm not really watching Lisk. I don't have anything about to say about Lisk. Litecoin isn't down that much. It's down two percent. Above its moving averages, you know. Can you even see? My bad. Above its moving averages, that's good. Matic. Bullish cross happened back here, and it's been holding it. Um, this is an interesting chart right here. This is probably one of the better ones next to AVAX. What we gotta wait and see. Um. Or was I mad at near? It's all right, but sand. I mean, going back to Matic, it looks good, but it could just roll back over. <laughs> it had a good move though, you know, from the bottom. All right, let's talk about 